Dee -dee -dee -dee. I started with 12,000 rupees, we're down to seven. But we have also got the sand boots upgraded, so I can wipe them off the map. Or the thing, whatever. Right, snow boots. Yeah, I'll upgrade the cap of the wild. Seventeen swift violets this time, yeah. I hate farming swift violets, they're such a pain in the neck. Oh well. There, we finally got at least a 12 level out of the Cap of the Wild. Yeah, I'm good. Actually, what do I need for the next level of the Cap of the Wild? I probably thought about that. Oh! Uh, no. No, I don't. I need to start farming dragon spikes. Okay, fine. Oh. I need a 10, 30, 40, 45 shards of Dinrel spike. Three rhino beetles, uh, three energetic rhino beetles, two ferrosh fang, five ferrosh spike. For the cap of the wild, the trousers of the wild, and the tunic of the wild. No, no, I don't know. No, it's all right. No, it's fine. I read that wrong. I only need 15. I need 15 shards of Farosh Spike, 15 shards of Dinral Spike, 15 shards of Nadra Spike. So I need two Nadra Talons, two Dinral Talons, and two Farosh Talons. The first box is about 30 swift violets and Zora's shop sells four. Oh yeah, I forgot about the Zora's shop. You can either buy them or if you don't want to if you don't want to farm but need more rupees, yeah, that's the problem at the moment. Also, as we leave Link stirring aimlessly into this pond, not that he actually is aimless, he has plenty of farming to do. I step away for a real, for a moment, and so I shall. Don't go away. Be right back.
And huzzah, I return. No, oh, I'm probably going to mute myself again in a moment anyway, so I can pour this out, but still. Ah, <sighs> right. Has there been a blood moon while I was away? I'm guessing probably not. No. Dame. Ah, oh, well. I'm with the swift violet farming. So. How many do I need for the snow boots? 20. Oh, 17. Right. Cool. Okay, then. Right. Back to farming. Bush violet. Hmm. I might try and make my life a bit easier with this by using the same technique I used for the apples. Or, I've just had another idea which might work better. I'm surprised I didn't think of it before. Uh, I need a sacrificial weapon. know what I wanted. Um I was kinda hoping that would work. It's not gonna work. Well it was worth a shot. I don't think you can chop them down. I could in Breath of the Wild. I think these are too big for me to chop down. So uh, we'll have to, uh, hmm. Ah. What we can do. And raining. Hmm. So, what does Zonite actually spawn in materials wise? Wait, what? <laughs> you mean with the, um. Oh, there we go. You mean if I use uh, ba 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 uh, the auto build to spawn in a bunch of swift violets? It just spawns in a bunch of green goo swift violets. Very good for Gooigi, not so much for Link. Yeah, with auto build, yeah, it just spawns in green goo. But there was. Um, a glitch that you could exploit in the earlier builds of the game which allowed you to basically spawn in proper meat but I don't think that's still in the game and even if it is we've got a better system with the taluses anyway because I need the gemstones all the same but I do have a cunning plan because even though I can't spawn them in, I can very much... How many do I have now? Nine. That might work. 
Okay. Stop. Oh. That looks like my cunning plans are bust. No, I'm just gonna have to do this the old, this the old fashioned way, aren't I? It was a good plan. I know. It's just that the game's decided no, it doesn't want to pull the bloody things off the side of this thing. Ah uh, well. How many is that anyway? Ten. No, unlike apples, it seems. You know, Boo, can you just knock that tree down? No. <laughs> it was worth a try. Well, it's better than when I have to farm 50 of the bloody things, so... Or 30, I can't remember. There was a lot of them. I believe it's because apples spawn on trees, so they can be separated, unlike flowers that are only stationary. But these are trees. You chop the smaller ones down and you get normal tree lumber. <laughs> I think these are just coded weird. And really annoyingly. Yeah, see? Free. Cover it down, you get wood. But these are really big trees, and this cannot be chopped down with the Master Sword, which is fair enough. Blade of Evil's Bane, not Blade of Lumberjacking. But that does take us to 18. How many do we need? 20? Yeah, 20. I just need two more. Thankfully enough time has passed in game that 
the ones I spawned earlier on in this journey have all come back. Downside, I've got to do a lot of climbing. Ah. Right. Oh, 20. Oh, I'm gonna have to. I'm going ah, I'm gonna have to those two. eggs because they'll probably be useful later on down the line and a couple more swift plants. right there we go so i've got a handful to keep in the inventory now we can go to the great fairy and at least get another thing done off the books oh. All right. Is of the kingdom. Leco Guts Farming. Give me a minute. Thankfully, once you accept the quest, defeating the nearby flame, we will uh, guarantee a drop. The Leco's are possibly most difficult bosses. I'll take the right equipment off. Yeah. Cool. Is that is that just a, a way I can cheese it? Oh, King Glicos have a, a high butt drop rate. That was disgusting, but there we go. Right, we'll try killing a King Gliot, because I know exactly where one of those is. Let's try killing a couple of them, actually. Because I haven't killed the kings, I've only killed the generic ones. Snow boots done. Right. Uh, no, I'm good for the moment. Let us go and kill a King Glico. Easiest place to find one is in the Glico den. 
Uh, uh, over there. Oh, I mean. eh. oh, right, so go and kill the King of Gleok. Vico. Which is going to cost me bows and it's going to cost me arrows. I should probably go and get some arrows. <laughs> It's going to cost me eyeballs. And I think what I'm going to do is either invoke the rule of bollocks and we just try our hand at a glitch or I save scum it. I'm thinking we save scum them. Just means a lot of Gleok farming, Gleco farming, whatever, but still. It means I'm going to be fighting them for ages. Ah. Oh. Oh. oh well. How many do I need? Ah, I need uh three, twelve. Oh, well, Fleeco guts. I have free. Right. Ah. Sorry, that's including the free. So, fifteen. I need fifteen. Glee Gleeco guts. Ah. Oh. This this. I thought the dragon farming would be bad. It's tedious, but Mom. at least it's a confirmed drop rate. It's a hundred percent drop rate each time. This is not. This is. This is. Unless the kings are a confirmed drop rate, I'm going to have to save Scum, I think. And just keep murdering Glicos until I get 15 guts. Plenty of wings. Plenty of horns. Not many guts. Then I'll need to start farming up silver lionels again, which will be entertaining. Right. There it is. a lot of pose acting but Thank you. 
bong. Right, so, uh, what do we have in terms of weapons? I don't do it. Now I'm not safe scumming this one. Oh, I need to get back to not doing that. No, stop it, Link. So much for that. go. Gliok Gut. Right, so we just need to do that a few more times. <laughs> right, so the kings may get... That might be a once-off thing. The problem is that the kings are very scattered. Now, is it worth my time trying to get to the corners of the map or do I just wait for the Blood Moon and save Scum it? I'm going to probably just save Scum it, I suppose. Maybe. Possibly. Fifteen. Sixteen. Twelve. No, fifteen. Right. Sorry, give me a minute. Just quickly asking the Oracle. Uh, found that it's only the King Gleox that dropped the guts. Yeah, another grindy mission for upgrade. Ancient hero. Uh... Okay, my next question then is Tears of the Kingdom. King Gleox locations. There's four. West Hebrus, Sky Archipel uh, Archipelago, Sky Island, even Tide Isle, Sky Island in the Grudo Sky, Gleok Den in the Great Hyrule Forest Depths. So, however we look at it, every Blood Moon we can farm four. Maybe more if we get lucky with the normal Gleox. Oh, I really, really hate this. I 
thing is, I could try a dupe glitch, but I don't also want to run the risk of corrupting the save file. If I do that, then that is very much game over. So, I think I'm going to have to do it legit. Or save scummy. Either which way. Ah. <sighs> Right, so... Guy Island above even tide. Island in Gerudo Sky. The Oak Den in the depths. Right, so there's that one. That one. That one. And however you look at it, No real easy way to get to them. Ah, unless... Only got three. No, no, that worked. No, that doesn't work. Oh, this is a tricky one. Right, so we could use the travel medallions and put them down on the Gleok locations, which would be quite useful. But I would have to give up... Yes, I can give up the one by the Rhino Beetle enclosure because we know where that is now, so that's fine. There we go. So if I collect that medallion... Which one is the most easy to get to? Probably that one. That's the most, those two are the more difficult ones. So technically what I could do is I'll build the flying machine twice. How many fans I've got? 